Sean Strickland is a fighter, known for his mentality inside and outside the cage. While you may be tempted to call him crazy, it's important to dive into his mentality to see what he's really like. I just want to say something because this is way I'm out of the camera view. This is my first press conference. You guys are a bunch of vicious bastards. Man, here's the way you guys talk. I want to go down there and punch all you fuckers in the face. One characteristic that sets Strickland apart from all the other fighters is his unfiltered and unapologetic nature. He often speaks his mind regardless of what everybody else thinks. This approach can often land him in some hot water. You're such a smug, cocky mother that I would probably take a misdemeanor charge just to smack you and watch your head bounce off the ground. Though it's important to understand that Strickland's intent may not be to harm others. Except he just wants to express his natural opinions. Strickland's mentality inside the cage is equally intriguing. Known for his aggressive fighting style, he approaches each bout with unwavering determination and willingness to push himself to the limit to win. Back. Very nicely done. Bubba is in all sorts of trouble. 30 Fight seconds. Under the Trying chin. to finish That's it. it. And it's That's all it. over. Beautiful Sean job. Strickland lives up. This can be attributed to his unwavering pursuit of victory and his unwillingness to back down in the face of any challenge. Garcia may be hurt here. Looks a little wobbly on those legs, and he is. Sean Strickland now searching for the finish. Garcia's hurt bad. Strickland oh, oh, it. It Sean Strickland with a massive KO. It's worth mentioning that Sean Strickland's mentality often raised concerns among fans and fighters alike. Some argue this approach borders on self-destruction. Others say he's just playing a character. I think he's just being himself, doing what he wants and saying what he wants. Critics point to parts of fights where Strickland has taken unnecessary damage because he didn't want to put up his guard. Because he's... It's crucial to understand that Strickland's mentality may also be the result of a difficult upbringing. Strickland has also talked about how in his childhood his father struggled with alcoholism. Can he, did, he was so fucked up on drugs, by the time he figured out he had cancer, like it was everywhere. Yeah. Fucking miserable. It's possible that his mindset is a product of a journey to overcome his brutal past. The intensity he brings to the cage may be a manifestation of his inner battles where he can let off steam in a controlled and brutal environment. Calm kick. Now he's trying to close the distance and make this one a little dirtier here. Yeah, but to your point though, as you said, you know, they, they, they almost look like arm shots, but they're doing a lot of damage. Right. And they're finding the mark frequently. Brendan Allen's got to do something different. As I said, he needs head movement and he needs feints, because I'm not seeing either right now. Another jab. Oh, good one, two. Oh, that's oh, why Allen. Allen. While it may be easy to label Sean Strickland as crazy, it's important to understand that in the business of fighting, you don't make that much money from the fights itself. You have to be a fighter that people can resonate with, and seeing as MMA fans are a brutal kind, Sean Strickland may resonate with many of them. Oh,